prop. Interesting. <laughs> Actually, it's a composter, but I tell everybody. Oh, yeah. <laughs> my son's a big Star Wars nut, so. So the second building he built specifically for bees. He's a beekeeper. Wow. It's insulated, concrete, drain, water, power. You could easily add heat. He didn't need it because it kept the, uh, enough heat. There's actually a wine bottle stuck through up there so the bees could come in and out. He kept the hives in here and he did all the extracting. It would work as just a plain old garage if you don't want to be a beekeeper. Two overhead doors, yeah. lots of power, uh, good height, not quite as tall as the other. Uh, again, 220, so workshop. Um, whatever. <laughs> whatever whatever yeah. you want. If that's not enough, you got overflow over here. Okay. Okay. Um, the and storage thing. too on top. Yeah, storage yeah. up on okay. top there. Storage up, up on top Both there. sides, yeah, okay. Both sides got storage. Um, two garage door openers. Uh-huh. Um, tractor doesn't stay. <laughs> uh, and he's got about 20 people that want to buy the tractor. If Jared wants to be 21, that's fine. We can do that. Okay. This is a 20 kilowatt propane generator that kicks on instantly when you lose power. Wow. Before you can say, oh crap, it's back up. Yeah. Okay. 60 foot ham radio tower. Uh, the guy's a ham radio fanatic. Uh, that can stay or that can go. But if you want to talk to Uzbekistan, you can do that. Um, the little doghouse looking type thing is the. Uh, where the fuel oil tank is, the main type of heat in the house is hot water baseboard with fuel oil. So that tank's insulated, protected, gravity feeds down into that. I'll show you all the mechanicals in there. There are a number of Mitsubishi splits for the house. It's another way to heat, but they use it mainly for cooling. So that's what that is. Okay. Okay. Um, we'll walk up around the front and I'll take you in the house. We can walk you through the house. In this lower area here is a industrial strength garage shop. Uh, more tools in there than he's got out there. That's an industrial strength garage door opener. Oversized two car, all kinds of storage. That is actually is heated. So, you know, that would be your, gee, I'm, honey, I'm coming home with groceries. You put yeah. them in there, okay? Um, nice. And <laughs> across the back and the lower level, totally separate, are two apartments. I'll show you one. I can't show you the other because it's occupied right now. There's a two-bedroom, 1,000-square-foot apartment that's on the west side, closer to the field. Okay. And then we'll go in the studio apartment, which is right here, um, currently unoccupied. It could be rented. It was rented until a little while ago. Um, it could be airbnb It could be used in an office. If you have in-laws that you like but don't want to be living with you, you could put them down there. Nice. Um, the apartment is currently rented through next July, mm -hmm. and the people have been here for a number of years. The seller goes to Florida. He likes to have somebody in the house take care of the driveway in the wintertime. It's kind of a mutual symbiotic relationship. Got they it. would love to stay, but after the lease is over, there's no obligation to keep them. Okay. okay? Everything, all the utilities for the apartment are, are totally separate. They pay their own. And for the studio efficiency, that's part of the house, you know, uh, in with a big house. So, okay. Um, let's walk up around if you don't hear. We'll walk this way. Okay. Thank uh, you. When you come in with the, there's a diesel tank there for his tractor. Nice. Uh, when you come in the driveway, you got a couple of options. Down there by the frog, you can go left or right. You came right. If you drove where you did, back over by the buildings, or you can turn this way. This leads to the front of the house. Okay. And there's a circle driveway. They don't use it much, so the grass is grown over, but it circles up around past where my car is uh -huh. on the far side of the hand pump and then back around here. Let's go. As long as we're out, let's keep going outside. Okay. So That's we'll, also part of the property? Yes, or? it is. Okay. Yes, it is. Um, I'll tell you when we get there. Uh, that Morton building you see in the distance was built to store the kit when he had the kit for the house delivered. Okay. It's, it's a cedar house. He didn't want the wood sitting outside, so he had this built. Let's take a beer over this way. Okay. 
Uh, again, a Morton building. He had it built over an old foundation of a barn from the 1800s. He hasn't really used it for anything except storing a little firewood. On the south side, which is this side, uh -huh. is the photovoltaic unit for the house. Okay. You can't really see it, but you see the, the wiring for it and everything. And of course, we're facing almost exactly due south. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So all this space is just storage for our extra car parts or extra motorcycle parts, whatever you got, or firewood mm -hmm. or nothing. Photovoltaics up on top. Okay. The old foundation, the first part, the stone was from the 1800s. Then they poured some concrete, and that's been leaning like that since he's been here. Okay. <clears throat> leaning like that for another 50 years. This is just storage. Okay. This was a, at one point, this barn, not the Morton barn, but the original barn was a dairy barn. This was the milk house. It's probably whatever it is, 12 or 14 by 14. It's empty. It's just you could, you know, garden stuff, shovels, yeah. et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah. The line between this property and the next is right along here at the edge of that little lean to in front of that timber. There's a stake. Okay. You do have the vineyard, what we call a vineyard here. I'm making a joke. Yeah. Um, it runs over and then it runs around and encompasses the pond. You can see the pond. There. Oh, yeah. I saw it makes a loop. It goes right around that way. Nice. On the other way, we'll walk over this way. It runs all the way over into the woods. Uh, it's about 10.6 acres. That the map that you saw online where uh -huh. the line is cut. That house that's next door, when he bought the property way back when, he lived in that house, renovated and fixed it up before he built this. Then he sold it to somebody. They've been there ever since. They get along great. Okay. And that's the closest neighbor. The okay. only neighbor you say. Um, let's go out here. So we've got a soybean field here in this uh -huh. land that we talked about. It goes into the middle of the woods. There's a little bit of a swale, sort of a drainage. Okay. Uh, the deer and the turkeys and whatnot live up in there. Uh -huh. And then you come back around to the house. It's faced almost exactly due south. Yeah. Uh, the overhang keeps the sun from coming in during the summertime when the sun is high. In uh -huh. the wintertime, the sun is low in the sky. The sun comes blazing in. On this end, you've got the solarium, sunroom, whatever you want to call it. We'll take a look at that inside. There is water in that manual hand pump right there. Okay. Well, originally, there was probably an old farmhouse here that went with the barn. Is it okay. is it uh, well water? It is well water, but it's not the well water that feeds the house. Okay. That was, like I said, that was a barn, so there's probably a house here. Mm -hmm. That was, you know, in the 1800s, you send your kid out to go get water. Yeah. You pump, 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 and you get water. Um, it just looks nice and it's a, you know, it just it is nice. makes you feel good. Yeah. <laughs> now, I did talk to Jared about the rest of this field. Uh -huh. You see the white stake with the orange flag? Yeah. That's what the line is currently. Okay. Anybody who buys this want to spend a little bit more money and go over to the edge of the woods uh -huh. so you don't have somebody building a whatever you don't like there. Yeah. Okay, yeah. whatever that is. That would add about probably five, five four to five acres, okay. it would go from the woods right out to the road and you would control it. I would think anybody would want that, but that's not my call. Who owns it right now? This guy oh, does. Oh, this guy too, yes, okay. Yes, okay. He owns everything, okay. but the 10 acres that we're talking about stops at that white post Got like it. this. Okay. I would think you'd want to own the rest of the field. Yeah, that, okay. yeah, all yeah. Right. All right, so uh, another Mitsubishi split. They're all throughout the house. Um, We'll go inside here. The roof is about 12 years old. Okay. Uh, now, when he built this, he built it with sort of a vapor lock system for maximum efficiency. Okay. And he locked the door on me, okay. Uh, okay, can you hold oh, it? Sure, yeah, I, okay, I, I can I hold got, it. I got too many keys in my pocket. All right, right one here, okay. Okay, so the way this is built actually is, come on in, you come in and you technically can shut the outside door before you go inside. Okay. So it just went, you don't have to take them off, just dry them off like that. So you can, you never have any cold and snow blowing into your house. 
Okay. Like and literally, one door seals and almost it almost sucks it shut. Yeah. A little coat closet there. Good mudroom, yeah. Wow. Okay. So come on in. Yeah, that is. This is one degree off of being exactly due south. Okay. Uh, lots of sun. There are solar shades there when the sun's too bright in the winter time. You can let them down, but in the winter time, if you've been in Ithaca, you know you like as much oh, sun as yeah. you can get. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Mitsubishi splits over there, uh -huh. ceiling fans here. Uh, wow. Gigantic fireplace. There are four flues that go up through this. This mimics like the Russian fireplace where you have the flues going up through. So that becomes a heat sink. You've got the downstairs boiler furnace. There's actually two downstairs that come up through, plus this fireplace. This is a catalytic fireplace with a soapstone firebox, an additional soapstone, most efficient fire uh, stove on the market. I have the exact thing without all the bling. Um, incredible stove, holds the heat, highly efficient. It's the top of the market. How much do those ones go for? I'm building right now, so I'm curious. I think I, I think I got a deal. They were having a sale. I don't have any of the fans. Mine's just black. Okay. And mine was about 2300 Okay. Okay. And it's got soapstone. The firebox is lined with soapstone, which conveys more heat. It uh -huh. holds more heat than, than uh, cast iron. Okay. This is steel, not cast iron. Mm -hmm. Mine weighed 658 pounds. Okay. I'll never forget that because there were four of us. Pretty good load. <laughs> yeah. Um, we'll see upstairs a loft in a minute. Okay. Uh, big living room area. This would be the formal dining room, if you call, want a formal dining room. Uh, the sunroom, solarium, heat sink is right off of this. You can open and close the door. He has um, barrels with water that hold the heat. Mm -hmm. You can keep cactus alive. You can grow whatever you want or grow nothing. Um, he has shades on it during the summertime when it's more sun than you need. They come right off in the wintertime. Uh, this will make it feel like San Francisco in January. Yeah, absolutely. That's great. <laughs> uh, another vapor lock entryway, like the front door we came in, is in mm -hmm. this corner. It goes out to just a small porch there. If it were me, I'd probably run the deck all the way around and connect to that deck over there. But that's oh, here or there. nice, yeah. This one is very seldom used. In fact, I think they might even have to kind of use it as a closet. Okay. The exact same layout. Come in, closet, open one door, close it, open the other door, close it. Very nice. Uh, Mitsubishi split work in there. Okay. Big open kitchen. There are wow. two sun tubes that are... Sun tubes allow the light in without being a skylight. So even if you turn oh, the yeah. lights off, okay. uh, it's still light in there. Oh, this is great. Um, there's a half bath off right here because sometimes you need a half bath. Yep. Uh, That's a good, good, good size. size half bath, yeah. Good size. And then uh, just off the kitchen is a pantry with a freezer, two freezers, and the washer and, uh, I'm sorry, freezer, washer, and dryer. The okay. is on the main level. Out of the way, out of sight, out of mind. All right. It has a propane, which is the equivalent of natural gas, a propane stove top and an electric stove. Uh -huh. If you wanted a full-blown gas stove, you could have it because it's plumb for gas. Okay. okay. We're not on natural gas out here, though. So we have an island with a little, little uh, vegetable sink make your drinks whatever you do mm -hmm. traditional kitchen stuff all the way around lots of cabinets uh whoever gets to do the dishes you look out over the field that's great uh and that's there again is the steak you see yeah out there so okay. that extra field i think you probably want to own that if you yeah do, yeah so. you can wish the kids where you wash the dishes well, exactly that's, that's, you can yeah. watch them ride their motorcycles around out there. yeah <laughs> rolls into a sort of a family room or I don't know which is more formal, but again, more living space. Yeah. Out on the deck that way. Prevailing winds are from the northwest here, so prevailing winds are going to come across that field, kind of hit the corner of the house this way. There is a bunch of woods all the way around, so you are protected in the wintertime from the howling winds. You're not up on the top of a knob like Mount Everest. Mm -hmm. That gives you protection from that. Um, I'm not going to open that because it's still kind of wet and rainy. Okay. That'll go downstairs, we'll go down there last. Why don't you run up and take a peek in the loft? Sure. 
self-explanatory. <laughs> <laughs> could be workout space, could be a bedroom, it could be a get away from it. Uh, yeah. It could be anything you want. Playroom for the kids or... Playroom for the kids. Yeah. For anybody who's playing it. There's storage, there's a light down there. If you reach in a couple of more feet on your left, there's a light switch. You reach it just a little bit more. Oh, yeah, I got it. Oh, wow. All the way down. All right. And the same thing on the other side, but that's not opened up. Okay. Same type of storage. The house was built with a, what they call a solar package. It was built in the late 80s with R50 in the ceilings, R30 in the walls, which was way ahead of its time back then. Um... I can't, if you ask me what the utility bills are, I can't give you a number because he goes to Florida in the wintertime, and it depends if you run the wood stove, it depends how much the sun is shining, and it depends what you set the temperature at. Of but course. I can tell you, when we get downstairs, he's got Buderis boilers, they're top of the line. It's going to be as efficient as it possibly can be, given all those multiple factors, and... You're never going to lose power because you got the generator, but even if you lost power, you got the wood stove. Mm -hmm. and, you know, that, the wood stove would keep the house from, from freezing. So. Yeah. Hallway here, we've got um, off, off the hallway and off the living room. He uses this room as an office. Okay. It could be a fourth bedroom. There are three, but it could be a fourth. Um, it has its own separate zone. There are a number of zones. Uh, bedrooms are zoned differently. The living room, this has its own zone. Skylight there. Uh, the big old safe is staying. This is this ham radio base. If you're into that, so oh, wow. that can stay. But it, a multi-purpose, multi-purpose room. If you need an office, this is a great space. Oh, that is, that is an old safe. Yeah, wow. That's yeah, a big one. Nice. That's a big one. Uh, first traditional bedroom. Uh, double closets. That's facing out towards the Morton building. Mm-hmm. And hallway storage for linens and bathroom supplies. Nice. Lots of storage wow. space. Lots and lots of space. Full bath. Uh, this is shared among the med the bedrooms. Okay. Shower, tub assembly. Um, bathroom, bathroom. Oh, just Sorry. hit my head on something. That's yeah, okay. Nice window. Okay. Second. Second traditional bedroom, no bed in here. They actually took it out again. Two closets overlooking the back. We're looking to the north. Yeah. Uh, that way, and then the master bedroom. Uh, Jared asked about the mirror. There it is. Yeah. Uh, oh yeah. Double. There was another one you can mount if you want. Yeah. Double, double closets, big deep deep closets. Okay. Big, nice. Deep closets. Oh yeah. Closets. And. Uh, and then the master. Oh, bed. another one. Yes. Okay. Double. Double. Wow. So if Jared's got anybody who's got more clothes than he has. I don't know, but there is room, yeah. There's room. <laughs> and skylight too. Skylight two, and then the master bed. Okay. Take a peek in there. Nice size master bath. Shower and, and bathtub. Uh, yep. Nice. Okay. And then we'll go downstairs. Uh, questions, I'll take them on the fly. No, I saw the cat, so uh, okay. I bet it's a pleasant place to be for a pet. Yes, yep, yep. So this is the back stairs down to a common area. Uh, we'll see the mechanicals down here. And, uh, did that, did that, yeah, that closed, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. So, the seller likes to burn firewood. There's no obligation about the next person burning firewood, but he's got a pretty good supply stack yeah. up there. He's got two boilers, hot water boilers. I don't know how much you know about it, so I'll just give you the spiel. Okay. They're, they're hooked in tandem. So if you want to burn wood and only wood, you use this. It's the equivalent of a wood stove, except it's a boiler, makes hot water. It's plumbed right into the system. You'll see there's multiple zones, mm -hmm. multiple zones. So the house, so you, again, you can control temperature as best you can. You can burn this if you decide to burn this and you're using it and then you go away for the weekend. The fire burns down when the temperature hits a certain point. The traditional oil fire just kicks on automatically and takes over. You don't ever have to use this and this will run and do the whole job. But if you want to, you can, but it's no requirement. 
Both of them are Buderis. Buderis is the Cadillac of boilers. There's nothing more efficient, nothing more if, uh, expensive than a Buderis boiler. This is the back door of apartment number one. I say the back door because the front door opens outside. Okay. This comes into a common area, and the back door of the studio is over there. We'll see that. Oh, in a that's second. the garage, yeah. So, okay. and the garage, and number two is the studio right there. Okay. So they have a common area where they can do their laundry. Okay. There's a sink, they have their recycling. This is the controller for the for the uh, solar. Uh huh. Okay. This is the hot water. One of the zones off the boiler. This is your hot water heater. Okay. You will never outrun that boiler. You could stay in the shower until Thanksgiving. Yeah. And you will not outrun that boiler. So that's the hot water heater there. That's the well pump pressure tank for the house. Okay. That's the hot water heater for apartment number one. And that's a water softener treatment there. Okay. Uh, this he was also a photographer, so this is a, used to work as a little uh, dark room. Okay, sure. Okay. It is a just, photographer too. That's... It's just uh, just a space. And there's a there's a toilet right there, so in case you're outside, you don't want to run upstairs or you're dirty. You don't have to use it that way, but it's just it's just more space. That's nice. Yeah. Just more space. Um, we come around here. We'll do the, the apartment last. <laughs> Got your firewood. Mm -hmm. If you're 88 years old and you're oh, using wow. firewood, you send it up the elevator and it carries itself up. So we'll come into this is the this would be the house garage. Okay? Did you custom build this? Yes. Okay. Yep. Nice. This is the house garage. It's basically an industrial garage. Yeah. Oversized two car, an industrial strength opener, which I'll hit in a minute. Storage up around the top. There is water in here. There is heat in here. There's all kinds of power in here. There is a air compressor built in and that's staying. He's got his workbench. The part that's there is gonna stay. The tools won't obviously, mm -hmm. that's negotiable. All kinds of power, all kinds of space. There's a drain in here in the wintertime if your snow melts, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Storage on top, yeah. Yeah, you have a little hoist set up if you want off of this. This, you know, obviously carrying a lot of you know, structurally strong up there. Um, I'll hit the garage door opener just because it sounds so impressive. Yeah. Wow. And then we're going to be 50 feet from the first barn and about 100 feet from the Morton building. Okay. The sun actually has given, I mean, they're starting to come out a little bit. Yeah. The driveway parking area, probably five or six cars as it is. It could be made bigger. The apartment people uh, park where your van is. Uh -huh. um, they usually park up around top or park their car here or keep their camper in there. Lots of, you know, lots of options there. Let's take a peek in the studio. Sure. So they're totally separate. You wouldn't see the people down here unless you wanted to. Okay. This is the entryway to both the studio and the apartment. It's, again, it's the vapor lock system. You come in here. This is apartment number one. And this is the studio. And what I'm showing you this is, let me turn on some more lights, to get a sense of the fit and the finishes. Okay? Yeah. The, the apartment is the same fit and finishes. Obviously, it's a lot bigger. There's two closets here. Uh, it's a thousand square. I mean, this is about 400 square feet. Okay. Um, he was renting this fully furnished for about 600 bucks a month, which is cheap yep. because he was paying the utilities. He had a long-term tenant, that sort of thing. Bathroom in there with a shower, and then through that door, we're right back to where the wood pile is. Okay. okay the common area. And then the, another Mitsubishi up there. Yes, and the apartment has one as well. Okay. They're mainly for cooling. Um, the downstairs of the building being built into the ground, um, you have the effects of the earth. Uh -huh. So you don't need as much heat because the ground is keeping you a little bit warmer in the wintertime and cooler in the summer. Um, this could be airbnb easily. Mm -hmm. uh, it could be an office, a home office. If you don't want to be upstairs, you want to get away a little bit, you could come down here and do your thing and munch out and all that. Um, or it could be used, obviously, as family space. Yeah. There's total sound separation between upstairs and down. Um, look around. That's my wife. I got to take Yeah, yeah, sure. Go ahead. Hey, how are you? Nice windows. Good. I'm just finishing up the showing. Everything okay? Wow, looks pretty cool. 
I gotta tell you.